Abu Hafs from Bangladesh. My question is, uh, if I say the supplication for dying upon the fitrah, uh, without in, uh, or not being in the state of wudu, will I get the reward? Like if I die, will I die in the state of fitrah? What is, of what is the supplication? Uh, Sheikh, sorry. Um, the supplication uh, for dying upon the fitrah. The, what, what is it? Uh, Read it to me. Uh, Sheikh, I haven't memorized it. I'm so sorry. Is it Allahumma inni aslamtu nafsi ilayk, wajjahtu wajhi ilayk, ufawattu amli ilayk? Yes, Sheikh. Yes, Sheikh. I was looking for it. I'm so sorry. Uh, I, it wasn't memorized. Okay. It, it's that one. It's that one, Sheikh. Okay, I will answer you, inshallah. Abu Hafs from Bangladesh, he was t asking about that dua which helps you to die on fitrah. And I, I don't know which dua he's, me, me, yani he meant. If it's al, uh, the dua of Al-Bara ibn Azib, where the Prophet ﷺ told him that whenever you want to go to bed, perform ablution and then lie on your right hand side and say Allahumma inni aslamtu nafsi ilayk wa jahtu wajhi ilayk wa fawattu amri ilayk wa jahtu dhahri ilayk raghbatan wa rahbatan ilayk la malja alima la malja minka illa ilayk amantu bi kitabika alladhi anzalt wa bi nabiyyika alladhi arsalt So if you die, you die on fitrah, on Islam. If this is the hadith, I, I don't memorize it correctly and I hope it is this one. See, so he's asking that if I don't perform wudu, would I gain the same reward mentioned in the hadith? It seems that it has to be a package. So it's, it's a package deal. You perform wudu and say the dua. So if you performed wudu and did not say the dua, you would not get the reward. And likewise, if you did not make wudu and what said this dua, it seems that you won't get the reward and Allah knows best.